Hey there friends, Mark here on the Culinary Compass. We're entering the early stages of this year's vegetable and flower gardens. And there's uh, something I'd like to talk to you about today, specifically mulch. You know, as you could see, sometimes I will use this salt marsh hay alone, usually for larger plants that are more rugged, not seedlings, just to give the water a chance to not burn off so much. So, of course, one of the reasons we use mulch at all is, of course, to keep moisture in. So that's, uh, that's very helpful. And here's an example where I've used both types. Um, over here on the edge, just to keep weeds down along this edging. So an ornamental somewhat and also convenience cutting down on my time in the garden. And here, as you can see, I've used the cut straw and that's because I planted beans under here. I'd like to keep this moist, which is really critical for certain types of, well, almost all types of seeds. Um, and so that'll, uh, that'll be here and that seed, once it germinates, will push right on through in addition, again, it makes it really easy to identify where I need to do spot watering. I use the, the salt hay as a, a bedding for the pathways through my garden. We just had three days of remarkable torrential rain and there was not a muddy, slick spot anywhere in the garden along these paths. Here are some very young nasturtiums, very delicate, and here a much more vigorous and aggressive mint plant. So different types of mulch for different types of purposes. This um, salt hay, salt marsh hay, actually just comes in bales and it runs about, it's a little pricey, it runs about uh, $15 uh, per bale. But uh, I find myself only using about two bales um, in a season. The other product that I mentioned to you is called Easy Straw. Um, and this runs, I think, about $12, and I find myself using one of these a year. So very well worth it. You can see incredibly fine. Okay, so that's it for the Culinary Compass today. Hope you found this helpful. Remember, don't hesitate to test out different kinds of mulch. There are different reasons to use different kinds of mulch. So give it a try. Try different kinds of mulch. Don't skimp on mulch. That's the big message here other than experiment. You'll find that you are not using as much water. The seedlings that you plant will germinate and live at a higher rate. And the young plants, like this beautiful pepper plant here, that do get planted, will have a better chance of making it through maybe a few hot days early in their lifespan. Ciao for now.